and the hitch keep coming. Uh, we have Linda in Louisiana had just rode to us. She was almost like Ronald Reagan, Casey Case. I mean, uh, and her dead dog Spot would love to hear this song by Journey. And the hitch keep coming. It was almost one step away from like Ronald Reagan or something. Uh, Muslim version of Ronald Reagan, no offense. Lebanese people kick ass. The best. But um, yeah, it was sort of like, uh, well, well, Linda sang for her dog bad. And it's so sad. And then he would just blow up in the middle of like segments like, you're an effing pig. Yeah, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Yes, I am. He'd stand on top of the roof with a shotgun telling the studio technicians to get in their house. Get in their house. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Get in their house. So he became Robin Williams in 1984, basically, with Dana Carvon and Carvey on Angry Quaaludes. But uh, Casey to keep some in. And the hits keep coming. He was sort of like a cross between Garcinio <laughs> Hall, like Dana Carvey used to do. And the hits keep coming. Linda from Louisiana wrote Spot wants to be fed more and now a song from Journey the wheel in the sky keeps on turning and that was number 26 the wheel in the sky no I'm kidding Casey we love you God bless you you meant so much to all of us really none of us could live without you hopefully we'll go to like YouTube and hear your different stuff and it's just phenomenal stuff you did, really. It's just very good. You know, it's like a wholesome type of voice that really kept our spirits up. You know, very, what a sad day, man. What a sad last few days, Chuck Noll. First Chuck Noll, Tony Gwynn, or you, Chuck Noll, Casey Case, and Tony Gwynn. That's, that's a horrible three. But I'm probably missing a couple of people, too. But, um, yeah, like I said, and the hits keep coming. Uh, this is this joke. Is this is this joke? Is the is the is this joke? I am in the house. Am I in the house? I am in the house. I no, Casey, no, I'm kidding. That's me. We know we all love you. I don't think there's one person out there who would not give you a full amount of love to you and your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, not you. I'm not laughing at myself, not you. I'm not being disrespectful. Truth is, you brought out humor in me. I really thought, and believe it or not, all three guys, Chuck Noll, because he was so serious, I used to find it a little amusing because he seemed like somebody would strangle if you looked the wrong way. Tony Gwynn definitely was a pisser. Very funny man. Maybe whether he tried to or not, I thought he was hysterical. Genius. And Casey Kasem, also super genius, so... Is the is the hits keep coming? Is this is this joke? And then and then and then and, and, and Laura from Lauraville wrote a, a song about her uh, pet snake uh, Cobra. And uh, now I'd like to play number seventeen on the top forty. It's like Ronald Reagan meets Carsonia Hall. And the hits keep coming. Number seventeen. Uh, Lever Boy. Everybody schvetzing for the weekend. No, I'm just kidding. God bless, Casey. Just like Tony Gwynn and Chuck Noll, we love you all. The best, the three coolest people I can think of in a long time in the past. And we'll remember all three of you. That's the most important thing of everything, truthfully. Thanks for bringing it. Thanks for bringing it in life. Keep your feet on the ground and your hands in the stars and put your hands in your pocket and don't do other things that I, I gotta get out of here.